I thought I would try that challenge where people in front of you choose what you're going to eat. Hi, could I order exactly what the person in front of me ordered? All right, is that everything? That's everything. 22, 25. Thank you. And we're gonna be doing Wendy's next. That is beautiful, check that out. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. What would you have done if she got like four Baconator combos? I have to buy it. Okay. That's, that's the challenge for today. It's like it ate a grenade and then it exploded in its stomach. Ah. Help me. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic food review just for you and just for you. I thought I would try that challenge where people in front of you choose what you're going to eat. And today I thought I'd start off in Bradford, Ontario, Canada at this Tim Hortons because I really hope the person in front of me orders a large double-double, that would be fantastic. So here's a single person going in. This is a strategy that after watching a few people's videos, you definitely don't want to follow um, a person in that has multiple people in the car. So if this is a woman in a Honda van, so hopefully she orders a coffee. If she orders a coffee, that would be fantastic. Um, if she orders a tea, I have to drink it. That's the rules. Please be a coffee. Please be a coffee. I'm gambling. It's all about gambling. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do for lunch yet. And then I'm going to do dinner later on, obviously. And uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. One of the YouTubers I watched, she's like, it's like Christmas because you don't know what you're going to get. Hi, can I help you? Hi, could I order exactly what the person in front of me ordered? Extra large GP? Yeah, whatever they ordered. Okay. Uh, they ordered a Tim cart too. You want that? Uh, I, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so Tim cart, and it was uh, for 20 bucks. Perfect. All right. Is that everything? That's everything. 22, 25. Thank you. Oh my god. I didn't think that would happen. They ordered a Tim card. Ah, uh, so it's $22 for a tea. Hello. Oh, it is. It's Ken from YouTube. Oh my gosh, they know me. YouTube. <laughs> yeah, the challenge is to eat while other people in front of you order. Hey, I watch your video. Oh, awesome. Thank you very much. You're awesome. Hello. Thank you. Hello, you too. Bye, ladies. Well, so we got a tea. So hopefully I'll get my caffeine from that. Uh, let's park it. All right, so on the bill, so it came to $22, starting my day off with a lot of money, no food. So this is, I guess, an orange pico steeped tea, extra large, two milks, one sugar, and a Tim card loaded. Oh. So this is, a t this is what a Tim card looks like. This is what this one looks like anyway. Steeped tea, that's a lot of tea. Oh. At least you put cream in it and stuff. Cheers, people. <laughs> it's good. Wow, I haven't had tea in so long. One of my favorite teas is Earl Grey Black. Earl Grey is one of those teas you have to not put anything in it. Let me know if you agree with that. But uh, Orange Pico, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of milk, cream, whatever. And another good thing about steeped tea, it's not boiling hot and it won't burn your mouth. If you get that uh, regular tea with the bag in, you can't drink it for 20 minutes. It'll, it'll burn your lips right off. It is good though. I might have to do that in the future. All right, so there's stop number one. I have to drink all that tea and I will drink it all, uh, but I need food. I'm, I, just, I can't survive on uh, extra large tea. So let's zip over to McDonald's because it's just right here and uh, hopefully we'll get food. Are you ready? Let's go. Just about finished my tea and I thought it would be kind of fun to ask you guys where to go next. So if you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, uh, I'll, I'll primarily be going off of Instagram. So in the, in the future when I do this, I'm gonna do this a few times, so I'll ask you guys where you want me to go and what order. So, uh, and then I'll pick, I don't know, hopefully a lot of people agree on the same places. Uh, 
it'll be hard. I'll have to like go through as the time goes by and find out all the places that you guys want me to go. But right now I'm sitting in front of McDonald's hoping that a bunch of you guys will say McDonald's. If not, then I'll go to the next place. Um, but stay in touch, Instagram. And by the way, I'm finished my tea. All right guys, while I was sitting in the McDonald's parking lot, I thought I would take a picture of myself with the Tim Hortons cup and then ask you guys, where do you want me to go next for lunch? And uh, we had tons of different requests. So we had Wendy's, McDonald's, Taco Bell, um, Subway, Chipotle, and many more. But the ones that kept coming up that you guys wanted me to do, uh, like McDonald's and Chipotle were tied. Uh, Wendy's and Taco Bell were very close to each other, but it was a unanimous decision. And we're gonna be doing Wendy's next, and it is just around the corner. So let's zip over there, see what, I, I, I opted out. To, to buying anything at McDonald's because number one, I wanted to ask you guys. Number two, by the time I finished that tea, I wasn't really hungry. I've never had an extra large tea like that. And uh, I should have put my seatbelt on. Uh, remind me to take it off though, because I'll, I'll forget. Extra large tea. If you're hungry, extra large tea, milk, sugar, orange pico. All right, here is our Wendy's. Old fashioned hamburgers. We're still in Bradford. It was a beautiful day for videotaping. Yesterday, it rained like non-stop. And there's nobody, there's nobody in the drive-thru. Should I just go through and just say whatever the last person was? Whatever the last person picked? I don't know. Let's just, let's just do a little roundabout. It's like I'm stalking people. It really is. You're waiting for some poor unexpected person. So let's just, oh, here comes an unexpected person. It is a woman in a Jeep. That was perfect timing. So we'll see what she gets. So I figured we'll go to Taco Bell next since that was kind of like the next on the list. Keep your eyes open for the next time I do this and I'll make sure you guys pick where I go to eat. Don't forget I live in Ontario, Canada. Uh, if you guys picked a whole bunch of American places, I would go down to Buffalo just for you and just for you. Deal? Deal. We're up next. Well, can I get for you? Hi, how are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. How about you? All right. Uh, could I order exactly what the person in front of me ordered? So a single cheese, a lemonade, and an apple pecan salad? Perfect. Okay, that's everything? That's everything. Hey, 1915. Thank Here's you. Place. I'm eating salad and a lemonade, I believe she said, and a single. So she, this woman's hungry. I think she, she wants to be healthy by getting the salad, but she ordered a burger too. Because what else do you order at Wendy's? It's either the chicken or the burgers. Salad? I don't go to Wendy's for salad. Hi. Hello. How are you? All right, how are you doing? Good, thanks. So, 1950. We'll visa that, if it works. What would you have done if she got like four Baconator combos? I have to buy it. Oh. That's, that's the challenge for today. Well, have fun. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> that is the question. Some, somebody did mention on one of the social medias, they're afraid to do this because they're afraid the person in front of them We'll order a crap load of food. But uh, there was one gentleman I saw on YouTube and uh, the person ordered for four people. And so he brought all the food home. Oh boy, there's a Mustang Mach 1 sitting over there. Hello. So your apple can, your single cheese. Thank you. And your lemonade. Sweet. Have a good day. You too, sir. All right, guys, let's park it. All right, guys, we are parked. Get out the trusty steering wheel tray. Cause that comes in super handy. All right, I, I want. I think I want to eat the burger first. Oh, and we got our lemonade. I'm kind of glad she didn't do pop soda. We call it pop in Canada. A lot of northern states call it pop. So lay off. So it came to nineteen dollars and thirteen cents for these items. Uh, so that's we're up to almost forty bucks for the day, simply dressed. Pomegranate vinaigrette, holy crap. Oh, and there's the pecans, probably from Georgia. Shout out to Georgia. I'm only gonna do one, do I have to eat everything? Like I do, don't I? Oh, nice, that is beautiful, check that out. Scratch it, 
Sniff it. The rest is mine. You guys can check it out over there too. What do you think? Not bad? Oh, it smells so good. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. whoa! I have never had lemonade at Wendy's and it's sour. But I have to drink it all because damn the rules. You know what? I really want this burger first. Pickles, tomatoes, ketchup, mayo, tomato, did I say tomatoes? I just want to make sure I said everything. Uh, lettuce, and then cheese, bite. Over the time that I started doing YouTube food reviews, I used to despise pickles. They just, they just, they take for me a little bit of the goodness out of a burger when you put a pickle on a burger. But I've, over time, have come accustomed to having pickles on my burgers. You're okay? Not my favorite. Pickles on Nashville hot chicken. Well, that's good. That's kind of cool. They keep all the nuts separate for those people who want to eat at Wendy's and have a death a lot, uh, allergic reaction to that. Would you put two of these on your salad? I don't think I would normally. We'll see. I don't mind sour stuff. But when I'm eating a burger, I think I'm my body's accustomed to sugary drinks. Not sugary, but sweet. Sugary sweet drinks. <laughs> and I guess that's a sugary sweet drink, but it's also sour. That's what I'm trying to say. last bite of the burger. I've got to take the seatbelt off. The rule is we gotta eat everything. So this is kind of why I locked out this morning at Tim Hortons. Although it's kind of fun to get probably a ridiculous amount of food just for the entertainment value of it. But for the, the Overindulgence of food part of it. Not good. So that looks really nice. It's gonna take a while to eat it all. A little bit of apple. Grilled chicken. Cranberries. It's probably like that spring mix of greens. Feta cheese or blue cheese? Yeah, blue cheese. Mm. These pecans are sugar coated. Mm. Thank you, Georgia. Mm -hmm. I only know of Georgia as a production com as a production state for pecans. Leave a comment in the comment section below. What other states grow pecans? Can't be just Georgia. I used to drive through Georgia all the time going down to Florida. It's yellow trees and the farms. When you get that one bite with everything, it sings in your mouth. All the flavors, textures, mm. crunching, crunchy apples. Mm -hmm. Wendy's definitely does a bang up salad. I'm gonna finish this off and the drink, and uh, I'm, I'm debating on whether or not to go home and recharge my batteries and stuff, because these cameras aren't gonna last much longer. So 
we'll finish this off and then uh, we'll move on to the next thing. All done that. sour refreshing but sour done Woo. I'm full now yeah I think I'm gonna go home and then uh, try to find a standalone um, Taco Bell because a lot of Taco Bells around here are Taco Bell and KFC combined and I need to know if the person's going through are they ordering Taco Bell or KFC maybe that'll be part of the challenge uh, but I think I know of a, a standalone Taco Bell and we'll try and head for that one all right guys it's around 5 35 in the afternoon drove all the way up to Barry I looked around and there's no standalone Taco Bell so if somebody goes through and orders KFC, we're eating KFC. If they order Taco Bell, we'll get Taco Bell. We're hoping for Taco Bell. Fingers crossed as best as you can. Can you cross your fingers, normal? It's hard. Uh, so uh, we're just gonna wait. Uh, the last car that just went through had four people in it. I'm not gonna follow a car with four people. So we're just gonna wait, wait, and wait until somebody drives through. Just a quick update, three cars have come through with two people in the car, so they might have not ordered a lot of food, but if I don't care what car comes next, this could be bad. Wish me luck. Somebody's coming in, but they're parking. All right, two women in a Mazda 3. I'm just gonna get what they got. That's life. Can't wait here forever. It's like five to six, so it took me, what, 20 minutes? Not a whole lot of people were coming through this drive-through. Oh well, I'm trying to listen. I think only one of them's ordering. Could we be that lucky? I can't figure out what she said though. Cheese fries, I think she said two. It sounds like she's ordering Taco Bell. Thank you for choosing KFC Taco Bell. We'll be with you in a minute. Hi there, Hi, uh, can I order exactly what the person in front of me ordered? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. So, I can repeat the order. Yes, please. So, that's uh, crunch wrap with a bean, with cheese rice and a Mountain Dew. Perfect. And the two hot shell taco supremes with a bean. Awesome. The popcorn chicken with a fry and a Pepsi for the drink for kids. The cheese rice as well. Sounds great. All right. Second, no. Thank you. <laughs> At first, for a second there, I thought she was only going to give me one order. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a lot of food. In a way, a part of me was hoping this would happen because it just makes the, the video even more ridiculous than it should be. Hello. Hey, how are you? All right. Good go. Yeah. Thank you. I didn't hear a beep. <laughs> Waiting for the beep. Uh, Hot mile or fire? Uh, what did they have? Hot mild or fire or the, for the popcorn chicken we do have dippings with the barbecue or plum. I'll just go hot. Hot one? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Thank you very much. Uh, you too. All right, people, we are parked. Let's get out the trusty tray. Do our drinks. I can't remember what she said. The other one was, I, didn't, I don't even know what the bill came to. $22.79 Canadian. I guess that's the Mountain Dew. This looks like probably, hopefully regular Coke or Pepsi. Let's try it. Show the logo. So regular Mountain Dew. Regular Pepsi. All right, good to go there. Let's just reach in one thing at a time. Looks like we got the Go Bucket KFC Chicken. Look at that little basket. Isn't that cool, a little bucket? It's a basket, basket of bucket. We got popcorn chicken, french fries. This is kind of cool. 
We got Taco Bell and KFC in one. I think the closest Taco Bell standalone location is either in Toronto or like Buffalo or something like far away. They've all teamed up. Oh, look at the size of that crunch wrap with no beef. Ugh. No beef in a crunch wrap. <laughs> tacos. Hard shell tacos. French fries with cheese. Well, you're gonna need the fork for that one, buddy. I think she did two of those too. I'm gonna be sick. Oh my gosh. Two. I wish they had ordered sauce for the for the nuggets. Or the popcorn. It's a lot of fries, man. So this girl likes beef and that girl doesn't. Ooh la la. So we got like looks like beef tacos. I prefer soft shell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, last time I had a hard shell taco was when I did the, the 10 taco challenge. But then after a real, I think I did some taco, some hard shell, some soft shell. Mmm. Definitely better with the, uh, the sauce. I'll just rip her open. Put your sauce in. Ooh la la. Oh boy. I love his chicken. Popcorn chicken. I'll finish the taco and then dig into this huge burrito, uh, crunch wrap. It's gonna take me at least 30 minutes minimum. No worries, I got a backup camera. I just wanna make sure I don't waste any food. Okay. One hard shell taco down. I'm gonna save the other one for a little bit later. It is busted. It is falling apart. Whoever, it must have been day one for somebody working there because it is broken. Check that out. No beef with beans. Why did I get that person? I'm gonna be farting up a storm tonight. My poor wife. Yeah, so this is this is the worst crunch wrap I've ever seen. It is destroyed. It's like it ate a grenade and then it exploded in its stomach and blew all that part out. Uh, I wonder if it's, you kind of want to, I want to fold it almost. Let's fold it. So now it's now it's a burrito. Beans, lettuce, and then the hard shell tortilla in there. Now, I just gonna need sauce, man. Just refried beans. There's no flavor whatsoever, it's just bland. I just hope it stays together. Oh yeah, definitely better. Mm. Spicy, there's nothing else in there. It's just like cheese, lettuce, tomatoes. Nothing special. That is a whole lot of food. Whoa, guac. Check out these fries. I've never ordered cheesy fries from Taco Bell. Mmm. That's the nacho cheese. Mm-hmm. Need some chives.
it's gonna hurt tomorrow. No. Um, I wouldn't order them again. It's not my thing. Poutine, on the other hand, completely different. Different cheese, gravy. Maybe pour some KFC gravy on that. Popcorn. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I am in trouble. I think I'll be able to do it. Um. Dime. So do you guys think it's about eating the food or just the overall experience? That was the most bland thing I've ever eaten. Hey, would you like some refried beans in a tortilla wrap? And that's it. That's what it, that's what it tastes like. Ugh. Ugh. This is definitely helping. I'm so glad I didn't say no, no, no sauces. Go oh. home. Uh, I should have waited another hour. This to my stomach was more empty from lunch. Mountain Dew. I don't think I've ever gotten a, a Taco Bell cup at this location. I've been here multiple times making videos just for you and just for you and I don't recall ugh, ever getting a Taco Bell cup always seems to be the KFC cup it's bad I think I can do it I have to do it I love the go bucket it's so cute too many fries man jeez I wish they didn't order the Fries with the cheese. Cause that's killing me, man. Oh. oh I feel well. Oh. If I have to stop, I'm gonna stop on the fries. Definitely don't want to quit on that. Definitely rather waste fries than a taco. No, somebody just drove by. <laughs> the guy yelled out KBD. Wow. If I threw up, I wouldn't be surprised, but I won't do that to you. <laughs> a couple guys in a cool little hot rod car and another guy in a motorcycle. All waved. That's so nice. I love that. I love it. Popcorn chicken when it's cold. It's not good. Should have ate them first. I'm not liking them now. Sorry, KFC. 34 minutes. Sorry, guys. I can't do it. I just, I'll be able to drink the drinks, but I can't eat those fries. It's too much. <laughs> I need to compose myself somehow here. Uh, oh my gosh. Ah. Help me. All right, guys, I am bailing out of this challenge. It was a lot of fun. I'd like to thank every single one of you guys out there who've been leaving comments in the last bunch of videos, probably for the last couple months or however long this challenge has been around. Hey, Ken, you gotta do that challenge uh, where they order ahead of you. So uh, I'm finally glad I got around to doing it. Please leave a comment in the comment section below if you like this video, if you want me to do another one, uh, leave which restaurant you want me to do, like each other's uh, comments so those restaurants get pushed to the top and I can see how bad, excuse me, 
how badly you guys want to do it. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media because I like to ask you guys sometimes on the day of me going out to do something and I, I like to get your input because I want to do things that you guys want me to do. All right, if you guys love these videos and you don't want to miss the next one, please hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. But if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 and we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic Food Review. Kandamic out.